Take out the bobbin. When the bobbin is taken out and or put into the bobbin case, turn off the power. Open the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Place the thread spool to the spool pin. Choose the size of the spool cap according to the thread spool to be used. Thread the guide 1, 2, and then thread the thread guide for bobbin winding. Thread the thread firmly into the thread guide. Set the bobbin on the bobbin winding shaft. Wind the thread to the bobbin four to five times in clockwise direction. Put the thread end into the guide at the bobbin winding shaft and pull it to the right side to cut it. Turn on the power switch. Push the bobbin winding regulator towards the bobbin to start winding the bobbin. To stop winding the bobbin halfway, push the bobbin winding regulator to the right. When winding is finished, the shaft stops automatically. The bobbin winding regulator moves to the right and returns to the original position. Remove the bobbin from the bobbin winding shaft and cut the thread by cutter. Set the bobbin. When the bobbin is taken out and or put into the bobbin case, turn off the power. Put the bobbin in the bobbin case. Place the bobbin so that the threads wind counterclockwise. Thread groove one by pulling the thread end. It will be easier to thread grooves when you press the bobbin lightly with your finger. Thread guide two by pulling the thread to the left side. Thread to guide three, leave the thread underneath. Cut the thread with the built-in cutter. Close the hook cover. You can start to sew in this condition without pulling up the bobbin thread. 